गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स आज मैं बेसिक प्रपोर्शनेटी थ्योरम जो है वो मैं एक्सप्लेन करने वाला हूँ सो इसको थ्योरम को प्रूव करने से पहले जो प्रॉपर्टीज़ है जो इम्पोर्टेंट है फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द थ्योरम वो हम पहले डिस्कस करेंगे एक्चुअली थेरम थेरम्स आर नॉट हार्ड बट हम क्या करते हैं उसको हार्ड बना देते हैं सो फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑल द प्रॉपर्टीज विच आर एप्लीकेबल फॉर द थेरम एंड देन वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड थेरम सिंपल इट इज़ वेरी इजी कंसेप्ट ओके सो हम देखेंगे पहले कौन से यूजफुल प्रॉपर्टीज हैं ये थेरम जो है बी समझने के लिए तो पहली जो प्रॉपर्टी है If two triangles are having their bases lies on the same line and they have one common vertex opposite to their bases, then their heights are same. So for this we will uh, take, draw a figure. So this is the figure. So here there are two triangles P R Q and another triangle S R Q. So their bases. First triangle P R Q having their base P R. Another triangle S R Q. Its base is S R. This base is lies on the same line. Um, so, as their bases P R and S R lies on the same line, and they have common vertex Q. So, therefore, they have common height. So, if they have common height, their areas ratio of their areas equal to ratio of their corresponding bases. So, this is the first property which we have to use. Now, second property we go for. Uh, This one, uh, if two triangles lies between two parallel lines and they have common base, then their areas are equal. See this, there are two triangles lies between two parallel lines: triangle ABC and triangle DBC. So triangle ABC and triangle DBC lies between two parallel lines and they have common base BC. Therefore, their areas are equal. Why their areas are equal? Because these two triangles are having their heights and bases both are equal and therefore their areas are equal now whatever we did in the first and second property we have to apply for the theorem so uh, a ba uh, basic proportionality theorem it is in short we will say bpt so what is the statement statement is the if a line is parallel to a side of a triangle intersect other two sides in two distinct points then that line divides those sides in proportion so for so this the part in between if and then is if a line is parallel to side of a triangle so we will draw a triangle we'll give name any name you can give so consider for in this case we'll take name abc and we have to draw another line so we'll give the line d and this line is parallel to one of the side so in the triangle abc we had drawn line dc de which is parallel to side bc and now next point so what is your given so two three things we have to mention in the given what is the name of triangle which is the line to which side it is parallel and to another side which are the two sides uh it intersect okay so in triangle abc we said name of the triangle line d is parallel to side bc we say what is the name of the line and to which side it is parallel and third next point is this line de intersect other two sides which are other two sides now ad ab and ac in the two distinct point d and e so these things we have to mention in the given the part in between if and then is the a line parallel to a side of a triangle so name of triangle is abc there is a line de this this line is parallel to side bc and it intersect other two sides in two distinct points so that line intersects side ab and side ac in points d and e and we will say respectively so this is your given now what is the part after then the line divides those sides in the proportion so which line d d divides side ab and side ac in proportion means because of d ab is divided into two parts ad and db otherwise uh, in other hand uh, line d divides side ac in uh, two parts ae and ec so these four parts in the proportion so you have to prove will be first ratio what is what do you mean by proportion proportion is nothing but same ratio so first ratio is ad upon db this equal to another ratio ae upon ec so this is your to prove okay 
now we for the to proving this theorem we want some construction so why we want the construction we have ad and db ad is the we can say base of the triangle ade and we don't have another triangle having side db as a base so for that we will join be to get the triangle having base bd to so use first property and uh, similarly in this ae upon ec ratio is there to get ae ae is the base ae may be base of the triangle ade but ec is not base of any triangle or height of any triangle so we will draw dc we will join dc so this that is the reason behind the construction why we are doing the construction now construction is draw segment this one be and segment dc so, so this is are given to prove and the construction of the theorem uh, now next step is proof now how to prove it so whatever we did then the previous slides that is uh, two properties so those two properties we have to use now in the proof consider the two triangles triangle ade and another triangle bde so these two triangles are having their bases ad and db lies on the same line they have e vertex opposite to their bases it means their heights are equal and if two triangles are having same height their area of the ratio of areas of the two triangle is equal to ratio of their corresponding bases why because triangle have equal height so we use here first property which i explained in the previous slide okay now similarly we will take another pair of triangle triangle ade and triangle cde so why to take this in our proof in our proof see this in our proof what is what we have to prove ad upon db equals ae upon ec now here we got in the first equation ad upon db so we have to choose a triangle in which we will get the ratio ad upon db and to get another ratio a upon ec uh, we took the triangle ad and triangle cd same thing same property we have to use their bases a and ec lies on the same line they have one common vertex opposite to their bases it means their heights are equal so re reason for this equation is triangles having equal height so for this equation number 1 and 2 we use a property number 1 uh, so you are not getting this so go for in the second slide you will get the properties uh, understand those proper two properties previously you will get the theorem very simple now next step so we got this ad upon db in equation number 1 and a upon ec in equation number 2 now what we have to do we have to show these two equals so for that we will take triangle bde and triangle cde so for this we have to use the second property these two triangles ab bde and cde lies between two parallel lines they have common base d so if two triangles lies between two parallel lines and they have common base then their areas are equal so that is why these areas are equal reason is this is equation number 3 reason is triangles having equal heights and the common base base is d and why their heights are equal because these two triangles lies between two parallel lines now if you consider uh, this equation number 1 2 and 3 in first equation area of triangle ad upon area of triangle bd is there and in second equation ad so equation number 1 and 2 are having their numerators equals and this triangle bde and triangle cd this their areas also equal in equation number 3 so from equation 1 2 and 3 we can say we can write the left hand sides of the equation number 1 and 2 are equal okay already their numerators are equal and we prove in the equation number 3 that their denominators are also equal now if you go in the equation number 1 value of area of triangle ade upon bde is ad upon db <coughs> and value of area of triangle ad upon cd in equation number 2 is ae upon ec and in this way this this was our to prove and in this way theorem is proved that's it